I'm so tap tap, and now it's time to be Jude. So, let's see what's going on here. We got trees. What's up with the tree? Got some numbers. Your careful records of the activity of the mysterious figures you often see prowling around in the woods. Joey didn't buy it. The sudden influx of monsters may have changed her stance. Twelve U.S. Congress critters suspected of cult activity. Only twelve, huh? Unnatural fog? Spooky. There's like a little... Axolotl here. 1945. Okay. Got a lot of conspiracies. Oh, there's Area 51! There's a little something on Oregon. I don't know what that is. But I know that's Area 51. It's got something on Nebraska. Some crop circles, maybe. Egress. Yes, egress, please. Look, if it was just your can on the line, you'd be at that hatch down the ladder and blasting monsters in a second. In in a seconds. In a seconds. But Joey's counting on you, and you've got to get her to a more defensible position. Before you can even consider heroically abandoning your own. Okay. Ooh, gun. Chamber's empty because you observe proper flare gun safety protocols. But you should load it because you're also observe some scary stuff this evening. Alright, flare gun get. Oh hey, it's mist! Well, haze. Mist is the first game that not only me but my whole family got stuck on. We had to buy the strategy guide. Basically just for that piano puzzle. Everything else managed to work out, but no one is musically really inclined. Is that me? Is that me? It, it's like space age me in the corner. I can't examine it. What's this? Oh, puzzle solution, right. Red, green. Got it. It's Christmas. I've already committed this crucial intelligence memory, but a truly great field commander keeps even better records. I like his, like, pixel art style. I always wanted one of these, like, fancy boy globes that has, like, the bondage belt there, the little Jupiter ring thing. You know. Just for... Just to be fancy boy. I guess they live in a frickin' manor, of course, they have Oh. Ooh! You retrieve the cache of flares you're keeping in your metal chest. Mine through flare gun, they're tracked with the treasure. I just remember I still have my humidifier on. Let me turn that off real quick. Gotta keep noise to a minimum, though it's, you know... It's winter, it's crazy cold. It's like, it was negative five when I got into work yesterday. Ugh. Anyway. Tactical treasure. Mysterious fluids. Only a few of these are actually liquids, and unfortunately, those are also the ones whose contents you don't precisely exactly 100% remember with total certainty. You're not saying some of them are urine, but you're not saying none of them are urine. Thanks, Jude. Thanks. Well, let's get some dank tunes on the radio. Might be time to scan the airwaves again, see if you can pick up chatter from the enemy. Okay, do it. Hardly hear it over the music. Can I turn on the music for a second here? There we go. Like, I'm gonna leave the music right about here. You've heard enough of that weird signal for now. Forever, really. He's got an impressive, like, pomp slash cowlick going on here. Whatever that's called. Ooh, geodes. Keep smashing geodes in case they're secretly alien eggs. And if one is, well, you'll already have the hammer in your hand, won't you? Good idea. Also, it's been brought to my attention, you can put pretty much any item on anything. You'll stick with flares for now, though if you can if you can figure out how to weaponize a Venus flytrap, you'll be pretty much unstoppable. I won't do it insane amounts, though, because it would kind of slow things down and... I'm not saying I messed up the previous recording twice, but somebody messed up the previous recording twice. Was it you, Parker? Was it you? He never responds when I want him to. Parker's here, too. Copious notes on the disreputable activities carried out by members of what you can only describe as some sort of cult. What is this? Is this that dragon statue we've got in the hallway? It doesn't really look like it. There's like a time wheel. What is this? Uh, you've been superstitiously gathering evidence on them for a good while. 
detailed some of the stuff in your sites, but the really juicy stuff have to stay off the grid. A term you've just coined yourself just now. Yeah. Got some daily world news going on here. This thing. Talk about an enigma. One day you'll figure out what it does and why certain shady characters want to get their hands on it so badly. They have some theories, of course. What is it, though? I'm just gonna assume that's like foreshadowing. Uh, what else we got? Calendar. Wait, can we see what this is? Monkeys control robot arms with their brains from outer space. Now, I have questions. Are the robot arms here and the monkeys in space? And they like control it from outer space? Or are the monkeys themselves from outer space that are here locally? I'm just wondering how powerful the telepathy is here. I think we've... Oh, what's this? Pouch. Look at that nice empty pouch. You could stuff some stuff in that pouch. Thanks for the obvious hint, game. I take some of the stuff. I've got Santa cards. Pro tip. Poi po tip. Poi tip. Okay, you get the eraser. Pencil chewins. You gotta have some of that. Alright, so... What is this? This stuff is all treasure, plain and simple. Cat's eye. You move a cat's eye marble to the pouch. No, that's not right. Cat's eye marble. You move another cat's eye marble to the pouch. Carry pigeon couldn't possibly carry that much weight. Stick with two marbles. Isn't that wrong, though? Wait. Are, are those the right marble colors? On second thought, that doesn't feel right. They have a secret diagram probably display. Yeah, r red and a green. Okay. Alright, we have thing. Let's load the marbles into the gun. Flare guns only shoot flares. It's well, right in the name. Fine, fine. Breath held hand steady. You carefully load the flares into the flare guns. No going back now. Genie's out of the bottle. Well, let's set things on fire. Pfft. How do you think he smashed these bad boys open in the first place? Pfft. That's a strong gun handle. Between the nails, the broken glass, and the chemicals of uncertain origin, that second like jars is the most dangerous thing in here you can possibly shoot. This knowledge means if you decide to shoot anything else, it'd be a mo now a moderately better decision, just by contrast. Good to know. Oh, 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 I bet we gotta shoot stuff out the window. Maybe. But not yet. Oh. You're dealing with superior numbers here. It's critical that you wait for the perfect moment to attack, otherwise you're just giving away a position. And protect your life to agitate a single monster. True. Doggo house. The puppy castle seems fortified for the moment. You and that pup spent some time adding extra de defense implements this summer. They're holding up nicely. He literally doesn't even fit in the in the house though. We saw that in the intro. That is look at that buff horse statue. Why is that there? It's moderately unnerving. Look at these monsters. No eyes, no weapons. The most rudimentary of squad-based tackle maneuvers. This is a diversionary fate by an expendable vanguard if you've ever seen one. Would you have? Because you're seven. There she blows, Harley Manor. Well, only half Harley Manor since Joey disowned the name in favor of your mother's. Oh, we've got satellite. I hate satellite dishes, it's so ugly. Pretty unnecessary, and the latency is terrible. At least for internet, for cable you don't really care. Well, it's not really cable if it's on satellite, but you know what I mean. Uh, is that everything? Birds. Oh, we, yeah. We gotta carry your birds. Give the stuff to the birds. Mr. Longboy! Go get him, Longboy! No! No, leave Longboy alone! Oh no! Longboy! Longboy, please! Oh. Rest in peace, Longboy. He was very... <laughs> he was very long. Remember his length. I followed up an unbelievable tragic disaster over. Did you lose something else? My soldier on making second attempt now over. Uh, all right. Are you sure you're over? Over now, Froggy. Oh, look at him. Oh. Froggy, beautiful, sweet, precious, dear, darling, and ultimately fragile Froggy. You're er, Fro hike. Froggy is a Pokemon. You were too good for this rotten, dark nightmare of a world. May the wings of chance bear thee, named sweet. The to the rest of the sweet sandy shores of paradise. Bro, like, oh, I feel bad. Take another pouch from the drawer. All right, 
We have two bird. Look at that look. Look at him look. Suspicious bird. Oh, traitor! Traitor! Oh. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Are you all right? Betrayal over. Abandonment over. The lowest, vilest cowardice over. Um. Well, can't even communicate a true degree of outrage over. Literally. Oh. Incoming over and out. I think Parker tapped the keyboard. Let me move this. Parker is helping. Uh, hands are definitely not shaking as you pluck two more marbles from their safe cozy compartments into the pouch's waiting leathery maw. Langley. Langley the coward. Langley the blackguard. Langley of the unspeakable. A thousand deaths, a million deaths, an infinite hood of deaths would not be enough. Langley worm-hearted. Langley bile blood. Langley. You hate him with everything you are, and everything you ever will be. Parker's looking at me like concerned, like human. Are you having an episode, human? Langley. Alright, what's what's the remaining bird? I guess I can't really tell. It'll say. Oh. Even the music isn't sure about this. Come on, Burb. Third time's a charm, Burb. Yeah, go go get him! Go into the hole with the, the other monster. Uh-oh. Hey, it worked! Hooray! <laughs> Huzzah. Success! Jason Crow Byers, my boy, so brave, so true, so great, over. Are you actually just point blank losing your mind now? Kind of a relief after years of build up, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished. Byers champion of champions waiting for you in the kitchen, over. Why? Huh? Over. Oh, Byers has marbles required to acquire a key, over. Alright, I guess that sort of makes sense. New development, Byers being menaced, please hurry, over. What? Uh, okay, I'm on it. Hurry, please, Joey, he's all I have left, over now. Alright, we gotta save Byers. We gotta save the princess. And you gotta help us. Alright, Byers. Oh, it's music. It's battle music time, huh? Speaking of the music, I'm gonna try to l raise up the music volume a little bit. I think it's been pretty quiet. <laughs> Did you catch that roll? What is- what is this pose? Alright, give him his attention. S stomp Give him a tap. Pardon me, boy. Is that the chat nuka choo goo choo choo Can you give me a shot? <laughs> Excellent. Um... Bash him! Bash his freaking face off! He's rolling with daylight. Okay, that is... This is not really bashing its face in. Uh, at all. Um, this worked last time, so it can't possibly work this time. But, fresh start! That is, that is the opposite of helpful, Joey, thanks. Stalemate. Okay, speaking of stale, why don't you have eat some pogs? Face full of slammers. Get a coffin ready. Oh no! No, 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 no. What? Okay. Couldn't act for a second there. Um, do I gotta like make the bird go? Can I like activate the bird? No, I don't think the bird is interactable at the moment. Uh, look over here, buddy. Batteries. Mercy not included. <laughs> I like how it removes one of the batteries. Do I get it back? I do. Okay. That didn't work at all. That didn't help at all! <laughs> Alright. Can I talk to Jude? Maybe maybe Jude shoots it with the, the, the thing. Doesn't seem to be working. Even more creeped out than you already were, which was severely... Okay, so they disrupt radio signals, that's good to know. I like that sort of haunting noise it makes. Uh, make him a spicy boy! Spice me, you. You can tell it works because the UR has disappeared. Nope. He's one of those people that can't handle spice. He eats a bell pepper and he thinks it's the hottest thing in the world. It's freaking dead now, so that's cool. 
I'm just gonna leave that there. I mean, it kind of fits with the trash, so. Friend. That's a good verb. Let's say that for Kyle with a monster listen I'm pretty shook up. I have to find something in the kitchen you can tempt him with. What do you mean? Just just befriend him. You don't have flight capability. What do pigeons like? Yummy bits! Little bits! Have some food, you stupid bitch! <laughs> Little bits! Oddly enough, you aren't sure these are safe for birds. The violent strangled death of the monster. You're a little nervous about feeding things to other things at random. Maybe there's something around here like bread? Bread-like, at least. Okay, well, get, get some bread. It's empty. Alright. Fridge bread. Fax machine. Okay. Uh, where's bread? Oh, ooh, is there bread? Oh, bread get. Oh. Cracker. You got the map. Cracker acquired. Beauteous. Beautiful. The worst cracker ever. Good. Spice it up! The spice mix would probably take it taste better, but you're still not gonna eat it. Heck, the spice mix would take car make cardboard taste better, but you're not gonna eat that either. Uh, make, a, make a little... make some yummy bits. You combine the stale cracker with the pet treats into a sadness bruschetta. Delightful! Wow. It's gotten pretty bleak around here, huh? Maybe not that bleak, though. You separate the sadness bruschetta into its original ingredients. Fine. I have a cracker. Success, this little fellow. Byers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure this is Byers. Gobbles down the stale cracker and you tuck him back into your pocket. it has got a little parcel around his neck, which you're not... But you're fine with letting him hold on to until you actually figure out what you're supposed to do with it. Okay. I had OBS ruin the last recording, and... It, uh, it was a thing I never had it happen before. I think what happened is it... I think I left it recording when I put it to sleep. When I put the computer on hibernate. And it, like, came back, but I, I don't know. It said encoding overloaded, and I've never seen that before. You see hi to the bear? Teddy bear outpatient clinic is for stuffed animals that require treatment, but not an overnight stay. It's not just for stuffed bears, of course. It's named for its founder and chief physician, Arlarsa Teddy Bear. Okay. You say so, buddy. I was kind of tempted to split these into 15 minutes just to see if it would work. Or just to make sure it works. Uh, Alright, I need to talk to uh, Jude. Okay, I got the marbles. Would you want to send the pigeon back? No! Over. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to shout. Just worried. Please protect Byers. His chances of returning. His chances of re surviving return ship are very remote. Over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good point. Seems pretty dicey out there. Affirmative. Over. I'll just use these marbles or whatever then. Let me know how it goes. Affirmative. Good luck, sis. Over now. Okay. Marble room is this way. I'll just keep the, the videos to a half hour. Seems about right. Little bits. Alright, bird. Apply bird directly to eyeballs. Carefully remove the ball, the marble pouch from around the snack. Believe it or not, shove the marbles into the empty eye sockets. Discard the pouch. What an evening it's been. Can I use the bird on things? I still have the bird. Apply bird liberally to sword. Buyers fly straight towards the sharp end of the katana. And narrowly misses it. Phew. Good job, bird. Oh, say hi to Horace, bird. Parker, I have to play this off of my recording preview because Parker is blocking my view. Bias looks pleased to see a bird adorned so regally. Bias displays his tiny wingspan to Albergeba, who refuses to be intimidated. Tiny boy. Buyers and the deer, it's beautiful and tragic. Like something from one of your adult novels where bunnies and vampires are night mice and knights or something. It's weird, it's like... It's like a few milliseconds different, the mouse movement on the recording preview versus the real screen. But it makes me feel like I'm drunk to watch this, the recording preview instead. It's like... It's like a couple frames behind, but it's still... it's disorienting and I don't like it. And I wish Parker would not block my screen. There you go. He's looking at his butt now. Parker updates. Buyers and the deer. It's beautiful and tragic, like something from one of your adult no young novels where bunnies are vampires and mice are knights or something. It's a red wall reference. Spin the globe. That just instantly works. We are the luckiest puzzle solver ever. 
You got what you assumed to be the attic key. What's up, Jude? Got the key and heading back to attic, over. Careful, may not be that simple, over. What do you mean, none of this has been simple? It's been downright convoluted. Almost like some kind of adventure game. Noticing hostile elements, grouping serpents, massing, over. Aw, oh, jeez. Aw, oh, jeez, Rick! We'll try to back, we'll try to back you up if possible. Remain alert, sis. Over. What was that, bro? Over now. Aw. Oh, hey. Did we see this before? I've never entirely clear what's going on in this tapestry. It looks intense. Is that me? That's me at the top. Hi, me. How you doing? Pretty good day? And that red-eyed figure on the throne. What's their deal? Spooky. I don't know if that's a reference. That is a heck of a, like... His hair looks like a butt. I don't know if this is Homestuck references or just, like... I don't know. I like that, I like that spike ball, though. Unbiased opinion, spike ball is best. Oh, it's like a Grecian urn, but a painting. This, uh, whatever it is, depicts some heroes conversing with huge monsters. Did the monsters help them? Kill them? I prefer to imagine everyone gets out okay, but you know life is rarely kind. I like how this guy's just having, like, a gentle chat with Mr. Birdface Griffin Man face. And this guy's, like, naked and, like, covered by, like, a sensor bar. Like, I think that's just, like, a chip removed. They removed the dong piece from the painting. And that's just, that's just plain old Ultros. That's just plain old Ultros. Bleh. Alright. I love that. The, the derp lion. Uh oh. Ooh! Hi, hi guys. Um, please do not kill. Hello, friends. How you doing? It's an Aramon! Go back to Final Fantasy. Help me, Hippogriff. Oh. See, they got two mouths <laughs> stuck here in the middle with you. See, they got two mouths, or it's got like a closed eye. You hope this guy isn't hungry. What are you saying? He's like 90% mouth. Hey, wait! Hey! Aw. Oh. Sucker punch. Cheap! Oh, Jude? Save. Save me, Jude. Use, use powers of gun. Quirk. Gun. Joey took a brutal hit. She's down for the count. You gotta find some way to distract the monsters while he gets back on her feet. Those flare guns are good for distracting. But that seems like a good way to set the house on fire. But, you know, wh whatever. It's fine. Just set the house that my sister is in on fire. It's a lovely sky, by the way. Look over there, buddies. Bop him. Give him a freaking smack. Uh, excuse me. Wrecked. <laughs> no excuses. Ouch. What? what did that say? That would be a really great time for Jude to fire another flare. Okay. Tactical flare dispersing. Oh, you gotta load it, right? Double loading the flare gun is extremely unsafe. You don't even like to single load it. You can't... How could you double load a flare gun? There's no... Can't do that. But sometimes the general must leave from the front, by which mean fire a single flare from the safety this tree has. Alright. Can I shoot that? Can I shoot the buff horse? Alright. Please open your eyes while you're operating the flare gun. This is, this is unreasonably dangerous enough as it is. Uh. Tap him out. Putting on the ritz. No vacancy. Okay. Just, just, just bop him. <laughs> this is not how you use. Oh, it's dead. Freaking broke its neck. Delighted to see you. Let me guess. One left. Jude, what are you waiting for? Okay, Jude. Let's do this. All right. So he auto loads it. Okay. Yeah. Shoot it. Oh no, Jude. No. Oh, Jude, you plead. What have you done? You've doomed us all. And you set the yard on fire, that's great. Oh, it's gonna go... ...mate with the fire, apparently. Okay. Joey's concerned about this. Oh, ow, hey! You're not gonna fit out that window, bucko. But whatever. Just run. This is gonna be a good time to save. Or... 
Ignore that top save slot, it's gone now. What are you doing? The monsters are coming for you. I don't care, man. I want to play with Lightbright. Do you want to get eaten alive? Yes. Alright, fine. Uh... Alright, Mr. Caterpillar, save him, Mr. Caterpillar! Save him, what are you doing? Okay, fine. What are you doing? Hurry, use the key. Wait, I gotta use the key? Oh, I wanted to try something. Can I mix the keys? Do you want to get eaten alive? You don't have time for this. What do you mean? Oh, hey, hey, I was gonna use the key! Oh, rip. No! Help! Oh, this does have game overs. Uh-oh, well, that's why we saved. Well, heck. Alright, let's actually use the key this time. I want to see what happens when you mix the two keys, though. Oh, well. Too late for that. It's probably not particularly amusing. I like the very brief happiness. Oh. <laughs> just, just drop the key right through the floor. Most floors are not really built like that, by the way. Like, there's like... Floors have layers, like ogres and... Onions. Joey, please come in. Report status, please. Joey, it's hello, it's June. Joey, you okay? Please over. Yeah, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely made it. Phew, over. Locked in, actually. Drop the key. Safer in attic than the rest of the house. Can you give me a treat later? Over. I think you're right. The way they smashed through the living room, through the front door. If I stayed in my room, I'd be a goner. Separate us with Vanguard. Destabilize power. Pro defenses. Finally attempted entry through multiple points of ingress. Basic siege attack is over. You actually know this stuff. I thought you were just pretending to be a spy or whatever. We'll take that as a compliment. Over. Anyway, thanks. I'll hold up here for now. Saving the treehouse? Maybe you should try calling some friends or something. Don't want to risk their involvement. Always a gamble engaging real soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location and ignore object under curtain. Over. I'm not gonna ignore it. <laughs> well, obviously I'm not gonna ignore it. Joey, please. Over. What? It's a big mysterious thing out of a beguilingly floody, fluttery curtain. I have to at least peek at it. What is it anyway? Data insufficient to determine. Over. Well, I'll let you know when I find out. Joey! Don't. Don't. Seriously, anything could happen. Over. You there? Joey, don't go into. Portal? Don't go. Portal. It's a really bad idea. Over. Jude, can you report? repeat that? Lots of static. Joey, please, can't lose you too? You can lose me. Don't go near portal. Over. Did you say portal? Some kind of weird interference. Being seriously freaked out th than you were, which was severely. Hmm. High five! Left them hanging long enough. In fact, as you stare into the gross, desiccated hand in the jar, you begin to suspect that the time for you to break open this jar and slap an honest dead hand against your own live hand is tragically passed. That's a shame. High five. Myers looks at you in the hand, and he puts his little wing on your hand as if to say, Joey, you do not have to try me on literally everything in your house. Nice try, Byers. Let's see what else is in here. Byers, you realize this globe is broken? No, he doesn't care. You don't really care either. Broken globe or functional globes are obviously inaccurate. Are just another dumb thing your pa collects, like dumb, poor, murdered animals. Really distracting lamps. I'm told the blue people thing is, in fact, a, um, home suck thing. Oh, it's the lamp. It's the Christmas Carol lamp. You put this in the attic yourself, because it's weirded you out that your pot a lamp shaped like a woman's leg. Little did you know that he graduated to lamps shaped like entire women. That is the obvious logical endpoint, right? The victim of Jude's overseerous crowbarring, no doubt. Any chance he gets to go prying and jibbying, the kid just goes nuts so. Do you want to play with the straw? Byers? Byers nestles down to the warm straw, the picture of content and safety. Aww! Uh, beg pardon, Snuggles O Snoozington. You were under the impression this was a team adventure? Let the late shift to the nap factory. Let him sleep. What's this? No, this really isn't the kind of mystery, the boring kind, where you have to frequently refer to. Rigorously maintain collection of shipping invoices in order to make any progress. You hate those. Yes, I do. Lock and load. There is no chance you're going to pick up this gun, and you certainly aren't going to quote-unquote lock and load anytime soon. It just isn't going to happen. Well, what does buyers think about this situation? 
Byers is too sweet to carry such a crude and merciless weapon. I think Byers is a wussy. He seems astonished that the shipping did not utilize unmatchable power of the avian form. Which is a little bit rich considering it took three pigeons to send two marbles about 30 feet. Oh, ho, ho, wrecked! Spooky cages. One might expect that after the fracas this guy's been through, he'd be eager to return to the safety of a cage. He's reluctant to leave your hand. Perhaps you two have bonded? Is the two cage friendship? Wait, no. There's some old poop in there. Oh. Very old ancient cages. Especially they're thrown out, but old cages definitely fits with the other. Aesthetic up here. Cool. Oh, like a dead werewolf. You haven't been up here in a while. Your posture keeps a lot of weird stuff in here. Weirder than the other crap, that is. Maybe not. Maybe all this stupid crap is basically the same. Oh, no, 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 no. He gets himself nestled all cozy back there. He's going to be you climbing a bunch of uh, lanterns and sexy leg lamps and stupid globes and probably some guns and sexy leg lamps. And just just stay put, Byers. Calm, calm down, Joey. Is that Batman? Disguising your identity and pairing your vision wouldn't really help matters much. Pretty sure the monsters are going to eat you anyone they meet. Okay. There's a hose up here. Equip the hose, Joey. Oh, that's a gun. Same thing. They're just, uh, you know, bullet hoses, if that's the thing. You don't use guns. These are definitely loaded, though. Your power doesn't leave unloaded guns lying around. Or hang precariously in decaying nets. Jeez, this is right over your room. <laughs> that's incredibly unsafe, thanks. Huh. Oh, just more guns. He's got a lot of guns. Why does he love globes so much? They remind him of adventure. All the little abstract geological features, the jagged borders of exotic nations, tiny bumps representing mountains. Fortunately, whenever you look at a globe in school or whatever, they just remind you of him. Alright. Alright. We'll look at the portal. We'll look at the spooky portal before we end the video. I won't tease you that hard. You can't avoid noticing the drape rustling around. You really wish you could. Better see what's under there now, though, before it gets the drop on you. What do you think about this situation, Byers? Pigeon slips under the br drape. After a moment, you hear the terrifying sound of pigeon snores. To reach under and retrieve them. Let's spice it up. Get that spice mix. Why is there wind inside? Well, I guess it's a freaking portal. Seems like it's already do fine on wind energy. Ha <laughs> ha! But really, where the heck is that wind coming from? That's what I'm saying. That's what he kept saying. This doesn't seem physically possible. Uh! All right. Flip the switch, Igor. Yoink. Drama. Hey, it's the thing from Jude's thing. That's not what was, that's clearly not what was under the thing. Hey, the swirly gigs. That's like uh, mom's key. You don't know how to operate this thing, except of course to put a key in and turn it. Seems like the obvious thing, doesn't it? Like the most obvious and necessary thing you've ever known you're always going to do and have always known. Do it, do it, do it, do it now. Now the key, do it, do it. Open the door. Okay. Okay, game. But I'm, I'm going to put Byers through the keyhole first, though. The whole Byers in front of the impressive piece of machinery. He's plainly mystified. Well. Do you like Alf Pogs? You, no. This is important. Keep the garbage away from the thing. Uh, you keep having weird thoughts about the machines. You're not sure why, but you sure don't like it. Except the pogs are garbage stuff, that was all you. Feed it treats. The things on the side, they don't look like pets. Well, not good ones anyway. These do look like they might be hungry. Give it more power. It doesn't look like it needs batteries. It looks like it's waiting for something else. Hold on, waiting? She didn't wait sitting in your attic can't wait, right? Right? Let's make it a spicy boy. Looks pretty clanky and rusty. Dumping a bunch of gritty spice on it probably wouldn't help do what it's intended to do, which is, uh... Psst. Let's tap dance on it. All right, <laughs> I've teased you enough. Let's open it. Yes, definitely. Yes, jeez. Yes, wow. Yes, you. Okay, yeah. You want to do that? Just the keyhole. Do it. Okay. Whoa, getting a little bit inappropriate here. What do you mean? Oh, I think I used it on myself instead of the keyhole or something. Put the thing in the thing. Oh, oh, oh! You? No, I don't like this key anymore. Don't do. Oh, buy key. That was unpleasant. Jude doesn't have the key. How does he know it's a portal? Why does it have like a slot machine? Hello, Mr. Bird. This seems safe. Do you think this seems safe, everyone? I'm 
about to leave you on the heck of a cliffhanger, I'm sure. Are we gonna get hive swapped? Oh, your hive just got swapped. I still don't know what the title means. I don't know if it's a Homestuck thing or if it's a This Game thing. Oh, name call out! Is that- that's one of the little things! That's one of the little goblin things. The Homestuck goblins. I knew that- I knew that would happen eventually. Probably. And now we're in Homestuck land? Maybe. I don't- I don't actually know. But I do know that this is where we're gonna end the video. So enjoy that cliffhanger. Sorry. Bye now! <laughs>